Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortewada. In this video, we will learn about routing setup and installation in our React by using React Router DOM. So let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. So here, I have created a project for our React application and here I'll only focus on the functional components. So if you don't know something about functional component and if you are very new for React, I prefer to go with I, I recommend you to go with my React functional component playlist. I'll provide the link in the description so that you will understand in a better fashion. So I have created this project by using npx create react app command and it will create all this folder structure. Now what I'll do is I want to create some set of routing mechanism. So as I mentioned in my previous video, routing is something like whenever you want to move from one page to another page, then we will be using a routing mechanism that is nothing but moving from one page to another page. So here in this video, what are the dependencies for our React to achieve or to use React routing, I'll be explaining. So let me quickly jump into another let me quickly jump into the browser and this is the basic application which is running at localhost 3000 and here we have a official website for react routers i'll provide this link as well in the description if you want to go through the official documentation you can go to react routers documentation part now what i'll do is i'll try to install our react router dom so how i can do that by using npm install react hyphen router hyphen dom and i'm installing the version 6.4 so let me show you that as well let me go into package json and you can see react router dom that is equivalent to 6.26 and if you want to go with 6.4 you can give at the rate 6.4 so now it goes with the 6.4 as well so now let's go and create our configuration or if you want to specifically go, just give at the rate 6.4 version and hit enter. Now it will install only 6.4 version. So go with package JSON again and it updated with 6.4. Now what I'll do is, I want to use browser router. Browser router is an element router in React. So let me go and create two set of files and both of them I'll try to configure by using browser router. So now let me go here and so let me go into src i'll create a folder called as pages i want to create the pages folder so that i'll place all my routings or routed files into this pages so let me go with one more folder called as login and now Inside this folder, I'll create a file called as login.js and I'm using a snippet called as rfce, but before doing that, let me remove this and rename this with capital L and hit enter rfce and now you are able to create the login page and also I want one more page called as registration page. Let me create a folder called as register and let me create a new file called as register.js dot js and now what I want to do is I want to show this based on the login path that means when I give the login path it has to render the login page when I give register path it has to render the register page rfce and my component is ready so I have a register component that is a page here and also I have login page now I want to configure the routes so here as we discussed it's a single page application that means all the content will be managed based on the route but there will be no reloading strategy I'll show you in the upcoming videos how exactly this works for now let's concentrate only on the configuration part so let me go into app.js and I'll just remove all the header content from here and save this now let me remove this logo as well now what we can do is we can wrap all our routing mechanisms inside this app so let me go here and clear this off let me use something like browser router and it is coming from react router dom so this is one of my parent element to use the routing 
and it indicates what type of routing we are using we are using a browser router as i mentioned before we have different types of routings we'll talk about them how they differ from each other but for now i'm focusing on the browser router now this browser router takes a routes element that means it can handle multiple routes inside this routes i can give each and every route so route you can see here routes are coming from react router dom route is also coming from react router dom so now what this route will take is it will take some set of properties so let me go with path the first one is path whenever i want to go with empty path what should be the element which we need to render so for now i'll use something like a callback function which will return me h1 tag indicating that index page that means starting page and i don't have any child so let me remove this and close that is self closing tag now let me go here and see here at this point what we are getting we are not getting any of the data here right so how we can manage this part so let me remove this now i'll use something called as login import so this is my login component and save this now you can see hit enter so it is showing a path as an empty but we don't see any output let me go into our inspect and check whether we have any errors so we have an error like functions are not valid react child that means we are using a login but we are not passing this as an element so let me pass this as an element save this and now you can see the login over here so let me zoom a bit and if you want to pass any of the element you can pass something like h1 and i can say something like index route so this will be your element not only react component even you can pass a specific element of html you can see here index route like this we can create our first route in react application so now what i'll do is whenever i give the default route it has to go to login component so i gave the login component i have imported this login and now let me create one more route even if the user comes and give login as a route path at that time also i want to show the login path and again i'm copying the same thing and when the user comes and give register as a path then i want to see the register component save this go here and now by default we have 3000 that is indicating this particular route and hence the route is showing login if i give slash login then it has to go here inside this login and it is matching a path hence it will return this particular element and if i go and give the register path so let me go here and pass the register path then you can see register component so that means we are able to configure our routes and where the output is rendering if you just go and inspect this let me go here you can see inside the root component directly it is rendering in the register that means it is rendering inside our app component so this app component will be acting like a placeholder whenever a particular route matches it automatically renders in between this particular browser router itself so that's how you can use your different types of routings as of now we are using a url on top of the page like this on the browser but actually that will not be the scenario in real applications whenever you are using a real applications you will have certain links or a buttons which will navigate and which will help us to navigate from one page to another page so now the configuration is done for our routings in react by using react router dom hope this give you a this gives you a glance and better understanding of how to create the routes that is a basic routes in your react application hope this will give you a clear understanding how react router dom works in a creation and the configurations of route elements creation and configurations of routes in react hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you